Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today is March 20th and you're actually looking at dwarf curled kale that I planted last year around this time. And what I wanted to highlight is kale, especially the dwarf uh, curled variety, can survive winters. I'm in Maryland Zone 7 and what I do is really in the beginning of March, sometimes later February, come out, take a look at the kale, I cut it back, remove all the leaves from the previous year. They're just going to die off anyway, even though some of them will stay green. And then I cut the tops of the stalks back to where there's green. And you can see, you know, it's just a straight cut there, removed all the leaves, and in the last two or three weeks, the leaves have been coming back. Kale's a biennial, which means the first year you plant it, it grows mostly leaves, you harvest it, you enjoy it. If you plant a variety like the dwarf kale, you're in a zone, Maryland Zone 7, where your winters get to freezing and can get down to the teens, but can also be mild, your kale is going to survive a second year. So if you have it in your garden, go ahead and cut it back right now because you're going to get a bunch of leaves. This will also flower. Being a biennial, I'm going to take you over to another kale plant. Being a biennial, the second year these flower. You can eat the flower shoots, you can eat the flowers themselves, you can eat the leaves, so you can get a whole second year out of kale plants by just trimming them back, cut them back really hard, and you can see all the kale that's coming back here. And that actually says 321. Today's the 20th. This was a plant that survived one year in the Maryland Zone 7 winters. And really, I'd say in about three weeks, this will be in really nice production and I'll be taking uh, kale leaves off of here. And probably towards the end of April, it's going to start flowering and I'll be eating those too. You can also see garlic elephant garlic. I'm going to show you how to clean that up in a future video. But if you have kale, don't just go and pull it out now and get ready for the spring. See if you can cut some of it back and it will come back a second time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.thrusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.